Hello and welcome to map 12 of Ray Mohawk 2 for the Doomworld Megawad Club, August 2022. Lots of interesting stuff out there. Right, so map 12, lots of goodies. Straight away got some shotgun stuff fuel for the flamethrower yeah I mean gonna be checking all of this exterior stuff so cells are a different thing and I'm full on cells right do we want to oh, we'll take the shells do we want to try this door before we go wandering in there, let's try that door. That door does not open. Yep, that door does not open. Okay. This door does open. And I heard it teleport somebody. Okay, so you can open that door in the end. Various doors are not openable from this side, it would seem. Get me some more fuel, and we are now into this open area that we avoided getting into before. Okay, so there is a very annoying very annoying arch vial over there, I was about to say. Uh, he just blasted away a lot of our health. But we can get all of that back straight away. There's certainly plenty of power-ups. Whoa, okay. Oop. Another one came out. Oh, now he's dead. That guy still hasn't actually seen us, it would seem. Now he has. So is Mr. Cyberdemon not able to come out, or is he just... No, he's able to come out. He's just dealing with that age-old problem of monster pathing in Doom not being the best. And now he's dead. Okay. Well, I mean, we took a fair bit of we took a fair bit of damage there, but doesn't overly seem to matter, does it?
Okay, so there is a thing you can go through in there. Oh, right. Uh, sorry for going quiet there, but it got a little bit tense with all the monsters. There'll be another. Thank you. Okay, I have no idea where that guy just went, other than away. Probably should stop using the old shotty. For a while. This game is certainly fond of uh, throwing lots of monsters in. Ah. 
Right, so this game is very fond of... Um, a lot at you. So I guess the question I need to ask myself is, do I need to worry about all of that stuff? I mean, it's behind a red door now. So probably not is the actual answer. So, I definitely see a problem in as much as it seems like hiding in here is a really good way to deal with this section of the map. Not necessarily the best for exciting gameplay, shall we say. Okay, nothing in there. Right, so be aware. It's going to drop a uh, It's going to drop that guy on you. much of anything up there. Don't know if there's actually much reason to clear all these guys out, but we will. Okay, it's quietened up down there. I don't know if that was it in the slightest bit necessary, but... Okay. 
nothing being thrown out yet. Here comes something. Well, okay, well, yep. All right. So. Certainly a much more intense uh, map than uh, map 11 was. Map 11 was relatively straightforward, frankly. This one's like, have lots of monsters. Lots of monsters. assume that there's a way back. All right. That's, um... Not ideal. That you have to lose a big chunk of your health, there, uh, health or armor there, but, you know, it is what it is, I guess. Right, so... Plenty of uh, ammunition left lying around the place. Plenty of health too, really, when you get down to it. Lots of monsters out there that I don't really care about. Assuming that there is a way to finish what we're doing here. Ah, there is a... Like, are you a teleport or something? No, maybe not. Hard to tell. Do we just flick you? Aha. One side was not. Not yet lit up. What did that do? I have no idea. It brought us more monsters over there. is for. I do like that this uh, looped back into here and shows us uh, that earlier area. Don't, can we, we can actually drop down again it would seem. Is that a thing we want to do? I have no idea. I don't see a blue door in here at all. There's a few guys fighting over there. Oh, there you go. No, it doesn't open. I mean, there must be a blue switch somewhere to open it.
Somebody is flaying me with hit scan, which is very, very annoying. Okay, this is a secret. Sure it is. used up a lot of health and ammo and stuff. Not sure about that secret. It was just basically if you walk over part of the map it goes. It lets you go up there. back through there hopefully that opened the that switch will have opened the blue door maybe sure there were some shotguns yep get a lot closer to being full of ammo now That's a good fellow. Alright, well, there's an arrow there. Alright, that's the end of the map. Found most of the secrets. It's good. Beautiful clean coal, which is obviously a contradiction in terms. Uh, much more frantic, heavy-duty map than map 11. I do like that um, this is a map set that raises and lowers its tempo and doesn't just kind of always kind of step a map up. You know, so map 12 was a big step up from map 11 in terms of intensity, but map 11 was a step down from the map before it, and it's done that a few times. I like when a map set does vary itself a little, it should have a genuine upward trend, um, I feel. Uh, but I do like a little bit of peaks and troughs and, and maps that are a bit more, you know, map development that's a little bit more varied than just ever-escalating challenge. Uh, that was, I mean, it was fine, I guess. Uh, very much in the ilk of give you lots of stuff, also give you floods of enemies to deal with, which is not generally my preferred style. Uh, I like things a bit more nuanced, but uh, some interesting locations. Uh, it looked all right. Um, I like that you got chances to see back into earlier sections and even explore back into earlier sections. Uh, I like the way that it kind of it allowed you to run away from the big melee through the red door, but you had to go back through there eventually and deal with that stuff. You couldn't just kind of 
ignore it. Like there was a map earlier in this set where you could basically just ignore the final batch of monsters uh, and, uh, and skedaddle past them. Uh, overall, pretty good. Enjoyed it. Uh, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. Catch you next time for the dreaded map 13.